Um, mean quote. Mean. This is from Max Thompson. Meanwhile, I'm trying to decide what I should feel about these Texas spring game quarterback performances because I know where the narrative will go. Right. And uh, what we're talking about when we talk <laughs> about the narrative <laughs> is that um, Shane Bouchelle. The yeah. true freshman, the guy who uh, might be 14 years old, might be uh, unconfirmed. The early enroll certificate. The early enrollee at Texas. Yeah. Uh, lit the world on fire. He was excellent. 22 yeah. something like 22 of 41. Yep. Um, threw for uh, 200. Almost 300 yards. 299 yards and two touchdowns. No picks. No picks. Took care of the ball. Clean as a whistle. Meanwhile, Tyrone swoops the. "Quote unquote incumbent, kind of ish. Uh, semi incumbent comes in and, and kind of struggled. Um, was not great. Um, and so now there is this perceived quarterback controversy in Austin, and the idea of oh, well, why wouldn't Charlie Strong just start Shane Bouchelle? You know, when they play Notre Dame, I can think of a million reasons. Let me." Let me first preface this by saying that I don't want to take anything away from Shane Bouchelle because I think that he's a great quarterback, and I think that he was a good get for Texas in their recruiting class. I think he has a chance to be the guy in the future. I think that there's I think there's nothing wrong with Shane Bouchelle. Big fan. Lots big of fan. Hashtag Moxie. Hashtag intangibles. Yeah, he brought he brought his lunch pail. Real coach on the field. No question. Um, you know he wins with he wins with guile. That's a terrible throw. Ugh, My goodness, your Red Sox are looking bad. Yeah. Um, the so so there's that's point one. Point two. You're gonna start a true freshman whose senior prom hasn't even arrived yet. By the way, that is was that your true? favorite line last year. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next big event for him is his prom. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're gonna start him in a, in a three game in an you know when you are going to open with your two of your first three games being. Home against Notre Dame and mm-hmm. at Cal, you're gonna throw a true freshman out there into the fire. Hey, Greg. I'll say yes. They're gonna do it. Maybe they will. They're gonna do it. But you know what that means to me? Charlie Strong is desperate. Maybe that would reek of desperation from Charlie Strong. If I may, okay, to push the narrative up the hill, he's showing. So much professionalism already. You know, growing up with his father, a professional athlete, it's clearly translated to his life. He is like a robot perfect teammate. He's always in the facility. He's doing everything you expect a three-year veteran to do. (laughs) That is my response to that. I don't care. I don't care. You're going to throw a freshman out there? Let's make a list. Let's make a list right now. Of the true freshmen, I'm not talking redshirt freshmen, true freshmen who have been able to step in from the high school to the college ranks. At quarterback. At quarterback and be the guy on a good team. It's a real short list. It is a really short list. There's not a ton. No. And And I understand. And honestly, the ones that are successful have had really great experienced offensive pieces around them to lean on. That's the thing. And and now I, I... I think that being lost in this, in in the the quarterback talk, is that the running game looked pretty good. The yeah. running game, and and that is a good sign because yeah. to me, that's where they can win. Yeah, they can and I think we and we saw signs of that at the end of the season, like, mm-hmm. right, with Foreman and Warren both together as mm-hmm. kind of like a two headed monster. Oh, hey, these guys can kind of do different things. They they kind of complement each other. Uh, maybe that's the secret there. Maybe they've got some running backs. I am, I am not. I'm not saying that I don't think Shane Bouchelle can be a quality quarterback. I'm not even saying that I don't think Shane Bouchelle could be a quality quarterback in 2016. But I think that it is foolhardy to all of a sudden take one spring game yeah. and extrapolate that into, oh, well, he's got to be the guy. I mean, yeah. he's, he's maybe, looking up. Maybe let's tap the brakes on putting a mountain because, of pressure on this guy. And I think that gets to a bigger point about this, which is that we're talking about spring games here. We're talking about spring games. <laughs> not a game. Not a game. Not a game. Not a real game. Spring, spring games. Spring games. And 
I understand everyone's out there trying to impress, especially since yeah. the game's televised. Everyone's trying to make a play and, sure. and be that guy. So I'm not saying that the intensity isn't there, but the intensity isn't there. You know, there are the the ditches are littered with guys who looked great in spring games. They That's really fair. are. That's a fair point. They're, the spring game for me, and I'm a guy who is a football junkie. I make my living in football. Right. Okay. I make my living in football. Yeah. I love football, yeah. especially football in the state of Texas. I think you can take maybe, maybe one half of one percent of anything that you see in a spring game. Yeah, that y- y- I I am a lot more interested. You know, I'll, I'll say for Shane Bouchelle and his performance, the fact that he didn't throw any interceptions, right, is good. Yeah, is good. Now, let's also point out he's running against the twos. Yep. Okay, he's not running against the starting defense. He's running against the twos, and even if he were running against the starting defense, they were without their safeties. Dylan Haynes sat out the game, um, and then uh, their their other um, um, Jason Hall. Their two safeties yeah. were out. So to and, me, and as we've already said, depth is an issue here. So the gulf mm-hmm. between the best unit at Texas and the second best is a lot bigger than maybe some other teams. Right. The the thing that I, I think, and and this is may put this on my gravestone someday. Okay. <laughs> We need more data, yep. okay? Yep. I'm just saying That's that fair. if we are taking this extremely small sample, extremely small, he threw 41 passes. Yeah. If we're taking an extremely That's small That's more than stra- you've ever thrown. 41 pa- That's not true. I've probably thrown 41 career passes. Um, <laughs> if, if he if taking an extremely s- small sample and expecting to extrapolate that to any sort of meaningful end, yeah. I think it's foolhardy. All I'm saying, I'm not saying he can't be the guy. Right. And I'm not saying I'm not saying he's not even the best quarterback. I'm not even saying he's he's not the best quarterback right. on campus. Right. I'm not even saying they shouldn't start him. Right. I'm saying let's tap the brakes a little right. bit. I think it's fair to say I, I will go far enough. Uh, I will go so far as to say he's he's the best quarterback they have. Th- that's that's probably number, entirely fair. Number one, full stop. Two, boy, the expectations on him to be everything mm-hmm. to them, even if he's capable of doing it as a freshman, are completely unfair. Yes. And Texas fans, I understand they're going to be desperate, you know, for for the next the next guy. They have been so desperate since Colt left to find that guy. And sh- we're not saying Shane can't be that guy. We're more just saying, boy, don't put that on yeah, him you right guys now. Are, I mean, don't th- put him on it. Don't put thing. it on him yet. That's the thing is that to take – I hope everybody's understanding our point – which is we're not poo-pooing what Shane Bouchelle did. We're saying we need to see more. And that if you see if you take one thing that you see and yeah. then say, that's the guy right there, right there. That's him. That's him. Yeah. We did it. See what he did? All you're doing is setting him up for failure. Yeah. Because, because, because you know who? he comes out there on day one against that Notre Dame defense. Woo. It's going to be a whole different monster. Let's put it this way. Let's, let's go back to the last time that Texas fans saw one guy – at the quarterback position, do something amazing yeah. and say he's the guy. Yeah. How about when Gerard Hurd beat Oklahoma? Fair enough. And all of a sudden, Gerard Hurd is this. Or even his performance against Cal. Even his performance against Cal. All, and all of a sudden, Gerard oh, Hurd is this afterthought. Yeah. Okay? The, the ditches are littered, guys, yeah. with, with, with guys who have looked great in one or two instances. I think Shane Bouchelle has a chance to be special. I think that right now I don't know if he is, yeah. and I think that I don't know. I or think it's unfair to expect him to be. And I think that in the age of the hot take, perhaps the hottest take is saying I don't know. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. He looked great on Saturday. Yeah. Let's see a little bit more. 